When director Martin Scorsese is yelling at Marvel fans about what cinema really is, he's actually talking about the lighthouse because this is a piece of art. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's EJ Marino and this is About Last Night, the show where I talk about the movie I saw last night. We are diving into a brand new review. Yes, we are talking about the horror film, The Lighthouse. <laughs> Maybe I was driven a little bit crazy like the characters in the movie, but The Lighthouse might be one of my favorite films in the past 10 years. This is such an experience. It's somehow engrossing, enthralling, but scary and confusing. I feel like I know everything about the movie and nothing about the movie. I haven't had something that really puzzled me, that has challenged me this much since Mother. Like, this is such a weird movie, but it's so damn good with some amazing acting, even better cinematography, and one of the most haunting scores I have heard in quite some time. I just don't know how to really process a movie like this because this was just pure insanity. The little you know about The Lighthouse is better, but I'll like kind of briefly sum it up. There's two guys, we'll call them Thomas and Howard for the sake of the review. These are two men played by Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson who were sent to this lighthouse to tend to it, to make sure all the boaters are safe, to make sure that light's okay, and they're just dealing with what it is. Like, it's a crazy job. You're isolated, there's a lot of hard work. It's like the 1860s, nothing's easy. Like, I can only imagine a job like this. It It's really, like from the start, it's kind of, a, it's kind claustrophobic yes it's on an island and you have like multiple locations but just the the isolation is wild so it's these two guys just dealing with what it's like tending to the lighthouse and it drives them mad now maybe there's some outside forces driving them a little crazy or maybe it's just all the liquor they're drinking but it is wild to just see two men descent into madness you know that like second half of the shining when jack nicholson just goes wackadoo that's basically the whole movie i mean there's some the, some quieter moments, some softer moments, but then you have Willem Dafoe ranting and farting all over the place, Robert Pattinson like touching himself to a little like mermaid statue. Yeah, that's just brief little like clips of this movie, not just the full experience. And that's what's really interesting is the story is, look, there's not a lot of story. This movie does suffer in the narrative sense because there's not a story to really be told, but what's there? Just watching two guys go crazy, I found that to be an entertaining story enough. Yeah, there could have been a actual plot, but to me the plot was watch these two guys go crazy, try to figure it out, have fun. And I was like having fun trying to figure out what was happening and then at one point I just turn my brain off and let all the weirdness soak in. There is plenty to praise in this movie from the outstanding cinematography. I mean, if this is not nominated for best cinematography at the Oscars, a missed opportunity. The black and white aesthetic, the crazy like visuals with just how the camera would pan, how it would move. The camera almost felt like another character. All of that is top notch. But you know what is actually better than the cinematography? The acting. I love me some Willem Dafoe. I never really expect him to do bad, but oh my gosh, the performance he does here is outstanding. Holy hell, he has these long monologues that are just, oh my god, they're just enthralling. He's so engaging to watch and it's so good. But do you know who is just as good, if not a little bit better? Robert Pattinson. He is doing everything in his power to wash the stink of Twilight from years ago. Hashtag all the respect for my Batman because I am so excited to see what he's going to be doing as a, a more mature actor. From poor performances like this in The Lighthouse to what he has in the future, he is going to be a megastar all over again. And a performance like this in The Lighthouse is why he does such a good job like I was so engaged in him I felt for his character even when I'm like should I trust his character I still was curious and it still challenged me and I'm still going do I like him do I not like him is he evil is he bad is Willem Dafoe just driving him crazy has he been crazy before he got here I love all these feelings I love all these questions and Pattinson plays that to perfection look this movie is not for everyone if you did not like The Witch Robert Eggers first film you're probably not gonna like this this is just as equally strange and weird it's a period piece like the witch there's some time dialogue in this movie that I'm like what was that like Willem Dafoe's like has a weird accent and drunkenly mumbling and I'm like I, I'm just gonna assume it was something wild and crazy so there is stuff I can definitely see when people are gonna be like I didn't like the like the lighthouse I'm gonna be like 
oh, I get it. Trust me. Like, this is one of those movies that, like, you know, that, that favorite movie you have when people are like, I didn't like it. And you're like, what the hell? This is not the one for me. If you tell me you hated The Lighthouse, I'm going to go, yeah, I can see why. It's strange. But for me, this was such a fun experience. I honestly haven't left a movie this pumped, this enthralled, this, like, reinvigorated. Like, I like I joked about the beginning when Martin Scorsese talking about cinema. But this is what I went to film school for. Movies like this are why I love the medium of, like, film and what it can do and the feelings it could give me. This is why. And these kind of movies really just do challenge me as a viewer and make me go, I want to make something like that, or I want to be in something like that. And that's what's so cool. And that's what I really love about The Lighthouse. No matter what, look, no matter how the feelings, the critical reaction, if it wins awards, I'm going to go, damn, that was a piece of art. And at least it was. And I, I just really happy to see a movie like The Lighthouse. I was happy to see it in a theater. Usually these are movies I find, like, someone's like, ooh, did you see this weird foreign horror movie? And I'm like, yeah, I loved it, and we just saw it on the internet together. But this is something you can see in the theaters. So if it's playing locally, I would say maybe go check this out, because it's good. Now, if you hate it, don't yell at me. I warned you, okay? I warning you, it is a strange film. What did you think of my review for The Lighthouse? Are you interested in this movie? Have you seen this movie? Let me know all your feelings down in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, because I make videos like this every single single week and don't forget to give me a thumbs up because YouTube takes those way too seriously. All right guys, let's talk about the lighthouse below.